So Apple just released iOS 16. However, just like any other software maker out there, even Apple is not perfect and there are some annoyances, some bugs in iOS 16, which Apple definitely needs to address, which do give iOS 16 the look that it is not polished enough and that it might be rushed. And like with everything Apple, I am pretty sure iOS 16.1 will fix most of these issues. But yes, here are some iOS 16 annoyances and bugs. First up is choppy animations on your lock screen. If you have a widget and you have the music player playing some music and you have a notification, if you switch between the album art on your lock screen and in your music player on the lock screen you will notice the animations are super choppy yes even apple makes choppy animations and ios 16 is no exception next up it is the widgets so here it is this is my lock screen right now now what if i want to go ahead and customize it and add a new widget so i have one widget i tap on the widget area let us say i add another widget and that's it i am done i select done on the top right now why on earth do i need to set a wallpaper pair why i just added a widget right so just be done with it why would i need to change the wallpaper so this is an additional step wherein i have to select set as wallpaper or customize the home screen one thing right next up if you want to reorder the widgets you cannot do that see i am over here i want to say move this widget to before the other one i cannot do that it gets automatically added to the end so if you want to change the widgets you just have to delete all the widget and then you have to add them back in the order in which you want them in you cannot move them around once you have added it i don't know like to me that is a big irritating thing in ios 16. The next one which I find super irritating in iOS 16 is what if I want to change the home screen wallpaper. If you want to change your home screen wallpaper you have to jump through some hoops. First you will go to your lock screen then you will press and hold then you are going to select customize then you are going to select done on the top right and then you are going to say customize home screen and then finally hallelujah I should be able to change my home screen wallpaper i don't know who approves these ui changes at apple but they are super irritating the next one which i find super irritating is the color picker so here it is i am in the customization mode on my lock screen i tap on the clock then i scroll all the way across on this color options select this one now on the top left i have a color picker if i select that i can choose whatever color i want for my clock from the wallpaper however if i go down it should shift down right i am trying to select a color from the wallpaper so it doesn't do that this thing i have to close it and when i close it for the first time you will get the color picker so you close it again and then you close it again and now finally i can select the color picker on the whole wallpaper i mean this is super irritating and next level bugs by apple the next one i have nicknamed too much of allow paste so let us say i go to the photos application right and herein i take any picture which i have taken then i press and hold to get the feature of lifting up this specific object and i say copy then i go to any other app say chrome and herein i select over here i say image you copied so it is asking me chrome would like to paste from photos all right allow paste so now it is going to search for that specific picture in google chrome however however let us say i go back to the photos application and i do the same thing for any other picture so let us say we do it for the one with my friend over here so we select this one and i say copy again 
I go back into Chrome and here in let us say I remove this I selected I say image you copied again it is asking me for the same thing don't allow paste or allow paste so every time let us say you use an application and you copy from it paste to another application this is going to get super irritating there it is those were some annoyances some bugs in ios 16 because nobody is perfect including apple